Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to something a little different. Um, I have this pour that I did about a year ago called Galaxies Apart that I really, really like. Uh, it was a beautiful piece and this was used, uh, I used leftovers from a May the 4th Be With You collab that I did with Lee and Jeremy Massey, which was a lot of fun. But I've been looking at this one and I love all of these colors. This one has some antique copper in it and some aquamarine, both from the Deco Art Treasure or Folk Art Treasure Gold series. And I love these colors and I love these fingerlings and I love the very galactic look. This one was galaxies apart. I will link it for you up here. But tonight we're gonna embellish it a little bit. Um, I have really been enjoying the work of Tanya Munt who does these beautiful cranes with her glue gun technique and they're very, very pretty. Um, I cannot draw, so I like the cranes. So I have found another alternative. We're gonna be using some stencils tonight on this pretty piece and uh, we're gonna embellish it a little bit in a couple of different places that I've been looking at and thinking about. So I think this is kind of what we're gonna do. I did get these stencils off of Amazon. They come on a sheet like this. Um, this one had some of these little cranes on there as well, which I may or may not use, I don't know. Um, but I like to cut them so that they're smaller so they're not taking up as much space. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. What we're going to be using to apply the stencils, we're going to be using Liquitex Gloss Gel. Um, this is not the heavy or the extra heavy, this is just the regular gloss gel. And I mix this straight with this one from This Little Piggy Pigments. This is Comet, which is one of my favorites. I love this beautiful iridescent sheen on there, on the color shift on there, which is really, really pretty. Also, I have some palette knives, and I have some painter's tape, and I have this Pebeo Vitrio, which I used in... um our Santa Fe collaboration to outline those cactus that I did at uh, for Fluid Art Boutique. That was really, really fun. So we might use this also. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is make sure that that's where I want the stencil. So I love this beautiful solid spot and I think that that comet is going to look so pretty on there. So I've been thinking about how I want him and I think I want him kind of like that. So and I have left some space around it. So I'm just going to take this down. I may not talk very much in this video, <laughs> but I tape them to keep them in place and I also tape them so that I don't make a mess and get the gel gloss in places where it shouldn't go. Let's see if I can get this open. It's hard with gloves on. It doesn't matter what kind of painter's tape you're using, just as long as it doesn't damage your acrylic painting. The blue pavement painter's tape is less sticky than the beige masking tape, so I would suggest using the blue painter's tape because it's less sticky. Thank you. Adrian. Less inclined to pull off the surface of the other paint. Just to keep it from moving around. Okay. And then this other one. I don't think I want to do the clouds on there. So I'm actually going to tape those off. So that I could have cut them out, but I wanted them to leave them on there just in case I ever do want to use them in the future. So where I don't want to use, I'm going to put tape on top of it so that I don't confuse myself. Me laugh. <laughs> Let's see. Go up there. And I'll put another little piece up at this edge. And then there's one more on the bottom that I don't want to do. So this one I kind of want, I have it upside down so you guys can see it better. 
What do you think HOA is over here? That's what I was thinking before. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to come around and look at it from that side just to make sure. That's why I want everything. You could come. See, should you be pointing upward? I think so. Okay. I like that. And then we might use one of these little ones somewhere in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to take this one down now. my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. We're going to start with this smaller palette knife. Uh, I think we're just going to dive right in. I'm not going to get real complicated with this one. I am just using the one color. I'm starting with a small amount and I'm going to spread it. You don't need a lot for this. This is just the gel gloss. You could use the heavy gel gloss or the extra heavy gel gloss. Either of those will work too. It doesn't have to be Liquitex. It could be whatever company you like or what you have on hand. Yeah, these wings are going to be so pretty. Do you think we need another color on there, HOA, or do you think just the one color would be good? One color. Because the background has a lot going on anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you could, like, do, like, rainbow across the, the, the feathers of the wings. You could even make a beak, the beak a different color. Well, I have the little gold thingy that I wouldn't mind using. great opportunity to do some blending. Yeah, but I don't really want a lot of that because the background has a lot going on. I kind of want it to just be more simple. Okay. What do you always say? Baby wipes are your friend. Baby wipes are your friend. When you're using gel gloss, absolutely. Just going to get a little tiny bit off. Okay. I'm going to wipe my knife off too. All right, let's take this off. And we'll see how it looks. Did, we, did I miss any spots? Taking the tape off, hold your stencil. Ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost. That I am. These are kind of cute. Did you see a little bit of a smoosh right there? Where I'm going to take that same baby wipe. It's got a little smooshed, but I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now we're going to go on to this one. 
I think that looks really, really, really pretty. And while I'm working on this one, this one will start to dry a little bit. And then if we want, we can come back in with the Pevio Vitrio. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here. down while you're taking your tape off because you don't want it to lift up and separate. Okay, are you ready, darling? Aye. Ta-da! Ta-da! These are pretty cute. I'm going to wipe off the stencils real quick, but before I do, do we want to put one of these little ones in here? I like threes better than twos. Are we higher, high on the... yeah? Right there? Mm-hmm. Use a piece of this tape and tape him down real quick. Right there, you sure? Uh huh. The angle right? I believe so. Should be going up. Okay. Use that same little palette knife. You see, I should take the other side too. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> stencils off and you want to pretty much do this as soon as you can you don't want this to dry on your stencil and just wipe it with a baby wipe and this is actually one of my favorite parts because I'll show you <laughs> Now we have another crane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clean the back off too. You want to be careful when you're doing this, try not to bend any of the pieces. I'm going to get a thin baby wipe. You know, my stomach's making all sorts of noises. I heard that. <laughs> for the next time we want to use it. I probably would dry that off a little bit more with a paper towel too. I'm going to just wipe this one down. Okay. So 
those are cleaned off now. And a bunch of cranes on your and table. And a bunch of cranes flying around the table. <laughs> I think the gold would embellish more. Mm. But be very fiddly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I may or may not do the gold on there. I don't want to do it right now while this is wet. I want to wait until it's dry. So I will show you guys when it's totally dry. Thank you so much for being here with me today for this quick little embellishments with stencils and gel gloss and this little piggy pigments. It was so much fun. Um, please check out our website at www.porcon.com. I'll be teaching classes in Las Vegas in August of 2023. It's going to be super fun with a, an amazing lineup. Did you know there's 22, 21 or 22 different teachers there, HOA? Wow. It's going to be pretty awesome. So check out porcon.com. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. Everything is dry. <laughs> the painting was dry, but the embellishments that we did with the stencils are dry. That looks so cool. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I did go in with that Pebio Vitria pen. Well, not pen, but um, the gold. And just a little bit of outline around some parts of the wings. Just a little bit, just for a touch of bling. I think it came out pretty cool. So I did consider putting a couple more stencils on here, but in the end I decided that I liked the simplicity of it. I really love the bigger one. I think against that blue, it's so striking. I love the shape of the wings. I think it looks really, really neat. So, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this one a lot. Um, in hindsight, I may have used a different color on this other one instead of the Comet, just because on top of that aquamarine, it's not super, super visible, but I guess it just depends on where you're standing. Pretty cool stuff, though. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said in the beginning, this painting was called Galaxies Apart, and, um, a lot of fun so <laughs> please check out that pour and if you like this one please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment please share if you can to your social media I really appreciate that that helps us grow organically and uh, we'll be back with another video real soon thanks for hanging out with us I'll see you on Sunday bye bye hi doggy what you doing Boxy what you got what you got you looking at the painting what do you think is it good? Do you like it? <laughs> Don't knock it over, baby. Where's Daddy? There he is. Hi, handsome boy. Such a good doggy. He's my baby. <laughs>